Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions. I'm pretty sure I have a full face and I actually do have some skincare first impressions to try out. I know you can't really tell up, like right off the bat if skincare is good for your skin or not, but I figured why not just try out some new skincare while we're at it. So let's get started. I'm going to pop on this little cute face halo headband thingy. So as you guys know, well probably know, I went to the Priceline, I look really funny with this on. I went to the Priceline Beauty Prescription Live event last week and I love those events. I will have a whole haul coming soon. Like I did a poll on Instagram to see who wanted to see an entire haul and majority of you did want to see it so I will do that. So a lot of products are from that but I do have some like new MAC products and... Yeah, so a lot of it is drugstore actually, which is amazing. So I'm going to start out with a mask. This is the Skin Republic Pink Clay Mud Sheet Mask. For some reason, I feel like this is going to leave me with a pink residue, but it does say no mess mud mask. So, uh. all right, so this is the eyeballs. Oh my god, it's so big. It's got like clear plastic over the top, but I don't know if it comes off or not. Oh my god. I look like the guy off Silence of the Lambs who like takes people's skin and makes outfits out of it. Oh, he's staring at me like I'm a monster. How long does it need to be left on for? Oh my god, 30 minutes. Okay, so I took the mask off and it does leave a residue on your face. So I really don't get the point of it being a sheet mask and saying it's no mess when you still have to rinse your face. Like, kind of defeats the purpose. But anyway, my skin feels tighter and it does feel like just cleaner, I guess. Okay, so for skincare, I'm going to use the Napoleon Purtis Napoleon Complex Skin Renewal Caviar Serum. I love the packaging of this. It's so cute. Napoleon is actually coming to Priceline. I'm not too sure if it's already out at Priceline, but it's super exciting that Priceline's starting to get like more luxury, higher end brands. I mean, I know they're still a drugstore, but it's kind of like Ulta. Like Ulta sells a mixture of both. Oh, that's like leaves your skin really sticky and tacky. The serum's supposed to be good for dry skin. I told the girl at the stand that I had dry skin, which I do. It's so dry at the moment. For my moisturizer, I'm going to go in with this Solal. Solal? I'm not too sure how you pronounce it, but it's a replenishing moisturizer. I love the packaging of this brand. It's like... Oh, that was horrible. It's just so nice. It's completely white, but then it's got the rose gold on it. So this says, helps to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and sagging, hydrates and smooths, suitable for oily and combination skin. Which I am dry, but I mean, it's coming into the warmer months, so my skin will be more combo. So this brand is, I believe, also new to Priceline. So that's definitely really lightweight, and I think it would be perfect for anyone with oily and like combo skin. And then I'm gonna use this eye cream from the brand Natural Instinct. It is a dark circle and wrinkle correction eye cream. I like the fact that this is a natural brand and I love these applicators because you can just like swipe a little bit on under there. And I have been actually looking for a new eye cream. I've been using an eye serum, but it's kind of like really lightweight and I want something a little bit heavier, which this feels more creamy. Right, on to the makeup. I'm going to start out with my skin. I'm going to go in with this NYX Pore... I'm going to throw it. This NYX Pore Filler Primer. This is what it looks like. This is a mini. NYX at the stands had like a whole array of minis, which I love. This kind of looks like Benefit Pore Professional. It has the same kind of texture as that product, so could be a good do. Right, so for foundation, I've actually had this for a ridiculously long time. Not like crazy long, but I bought it to try in a first impression so long ago and I just never got around to it. It's the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. This might be a bit dark for me. It's in the shade Nude. 
And I'm going to use some of these brushes from Models Prefer. They, these are coming out in like the Christmas collections a little bit later on in the year. And these feel amazing. I actually used to be a big fan of Models Prefer brushes like before I started using Sigma. I feel like they're really good quality. So this is the foundation brush in the kit. It's just called an airbrush foundation brush. It's a lot smaller than I would normally use, but I want to use it and try it. I feel like this is going to be so dark. I'm going to have to blend it down my neck. I feel like this would be amazing for concealer. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of just like sitting on top of my skin. The coverage is pretty good. Like I still have a bit of redness showing through. That's for sure. It's obviously very, very thick. Okay, my pump's just like going to stop working, is it? That's fabulous. I remember when I was a teenager, Maybelline had that Dream Mousse foundation in the little pot, like the little jar. And I was like obsessed with that because it was really full coverage and like cakey. And when I was a teenager, that's the look I went for. I mean, I still love full coverage. It's not so much the cakey. It's not my favorite foundation, but it's also not bad. This brush is good, but I feel like I would more use it for concealer just because it is so small and I'm used to bigger brushes just to like get the job done quicker. I, I don't think this is gonna be a foundation that I'm gonna like gravitate towards, let's say that. I think I will probably end up putting it in my pile to give to friends and family. So for concealer, I'm so excited to try this. It's the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. I've got the shade NC20, which is like my perfect fake tint highlight under eye shade. This is what the packaging looks like. It's just got like a black lid, clear glass tube, and it is a doe foot applicator. And I'm like dying to try this. I'm so excited. You guys know Studio Fix Fluid like foundation is my holy grail. So when I saw this, I was like, going to try and use this same brush to blend out. Yeah, see, I like this brush for concealer. Oh, this blends so easily and effortlessly. That has made the foundation look 12 times better. I'm just going to add a little bit to like my cheeks, just like a little bit because I feel like that redness is really poking through the foundation. It's just not like as full coverage as I would like. Okay, super impressed with the concealer. I think it's gonna be a new favorite and one that I'm like gonna go to all the time. Another super exciting product from MAC that's just like released is the Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. So Max like changed all their outer packaging, which I really love. This is what the actual packaging looks like. I like it. It's very sleek. It's very like, like a statement and I love it. And you get six shades inside. You get a huge mirror. So you get emphasize, you get cream, you get accentuate, you get taupe, sculpt and bone beige. So three kind of highlighting shades and three contouring shades. I have dry skin just like sitting on my nose, looking like a booger. All right, so to set my concealer, I think I'm gonna use the more um, yellowy shade, which is called Cream. This is just a Sigma F35. So I'm gonna set my eyelids. It's not a cakey powder at all. It's like very finely milled and like quite natural. It's not like you would just put an intense amount of powder on, even though I'm going in pretty heavy. I'm going to take a little bit of a bigger brush. This is just a Real Techniques multitask brush. And just going with the same shade, just a little bit, just to kind of lightly set my cheeks and like the outer parts of my face. I might quickly fill my brows in. I don't have any new brow products besides a brow gel. Um, I actually got my brows henna tinted yesterday and they are amazing. 
So the girls at the salon were doing a training day, so it was completely free charge and it, they did such a good job, like I am so happy with them. This is no product in my eyebrows and you guys know I'm normally bald on my eyebrows. So I'm just going to take the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 2 and I'm just going to fill them in a little bit. They don't really need a lot. So the brow gel I have to try out is from NYX as well. It's the Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I love the name of it. So it's just clear and apparently it is really good. So let's give this bad boy a try. It's pretty wet, which I actually like because it means it's going to stick the hairs where you want them. Let's just see if they stick the brow hairs down. Right, so I'm going to contour and I'm going to again take this palette and I think I'm going to use the middle shade which is called Sculpt using a Sigma F05. I really love this palette. I really love it. Oh, so that emphasized color, I just picked up a little bit to kind of put down my nose, but it has a sheen to it. It's like a natural highlight, like the tip of my nose is highlighted now. Huh. So it's like super natural. Pretty, 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 pretty. I love it. So for blush, I've got a NYX. Away We Glow Illuminating Powder. So it's kind of like a, a highlighter slash blush. So I'm going to kind of dip into these two shades, the more peachy color and the more highlighty color. And this is the model's prefer large powder brush. Oh, it's kind of got chunks of glitter, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't like like big chunks of glitter on my face. I mean, it's not too bad and that has given me the most beautiful glow. Like, wow. Wow. Okay, so for highlighter, I have this Physician's Formula Mineral Glow Pearls, which, how cute is this packaging? So this is what it looks like. It has a cute little pearl on the outer packaging, which is such a nice touch. And I swatched this the other day and was like, this is beautiful. So I'm going to take the Models Prefer highlight and Highlighter and Contour Powder Brush. Oh my goodness, that is so pigmented. It's a really pretty, just like champagne color. It's very intense. Very glowy and very intense. That is very pretty and you need the tiniest amount of product. So I'm going to set my face using the NYX Matte Finish Fini Matte. So it's just a setting spray. It's a mini as well again. Oh, I don't like the smell of that. That smells weird. I'd still use it, but it just doesn't have a nice scent at all. But the mister on this is really nice. So the palette I'm going to use on my eyes is from The Balm. The Balm is it's either in Priceline now or it's coming to Priceline, which is so exciting. I've loved The Balm for a long time. They make some really good products. So I have the Balm Appetit Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm going to turn the brightness of my light down just a little bit. Actually see what things are going on. It says eat your heart out, which is cute. And I thought it was just like the tiny little eyeshadows, but they're actually a really good size when you open this bad boy up. The shades do look really beautiful. So I am excited to test this out. I'm going to start out with this shade. It's called Mac and Mac and cheese. Cute little funny names. So it's like a kind of purpley movie shade. I'm going to buff this into my crease. Then I'm just going to do the same underneath my eyes. Okay, then I'm going to take the shade next to it called Ray Sin Bread. I'm going to do the same thing, keeping it a little bit lower though in the crease. 
So far, these shadows blend beautifully. So buttery and creamy. There's not like a deeper brown, so I'm going to go in with the black just a little bit and just to like deepen up that outer V just to give it a little something something when you tap off that black it actually gets rid of most of that shimmer I'm just going back in with the E40 to kind of blend everything in together I'm going to take this shade here, Tater Tots, which is like a really pretty taupey pink. And I'm just going to take it on my finger and press it onto my eyelid. Oh, this color is beautiful. And just some on the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to blend a little bit. I actually have these cream shadows from Models Prefer. There's two palettes. There's like a bronzy one and a more like dusty pink one. So this is like more golden bronze. This is more pinky. These cream shadows feel like, oh my God, this is itching. They feel so nice. So I'm gonna put one just over the lid to kind of give me more of a foiled look. I think I'm going to go for this shade down here. So this is called the Pink Luster Palette. Oh, I think I pink picked up too much. That's really pretty though. These are almost like the Steeler Magnificent Metals, just in like a cream rather than a liquid. Okay, now for something very exciting. I'm using the Quick Flick, which looks amazing. I'm like, I'm, even though I've seen it work, I'm still kind of skeptical. I'm like, how can it possibly be so good? So these are basically winged eyeliner stamps. If you haven't seen them, I'm sure you have. You get two in a pack, one for your right eye, one for your left eye. So let's try these bad boys out. I got the grand 12 millimeter ones. So one end is your little stamp. I'm nervous. I don't want to ruin everything, but I'm so excited as well. Let's go in with the other end. It's just like a chubby felt tip. I feel like my wings are like, normally I do them more outwards. These are like, Let's try the other eye. It's very stressful. Why do they look so different? They just take a bit of practice, I'm thinking, to get used to and like figure out, like it could just be the fact that I angled mine too high. That's why they look like friggin' this. Well, look so bad how did I fuck that up so badly when it's supposed to be so foolproof how all right I think I need to leave them alone before I ruin them even more I'm just gonna take a little bit of black pencil in my tight line this isn't new but all right so mascara I'm gonna take this one from L'Oreal it's their unlimited mascara packaging is so cute and it's cool, it has this little lock cap and you can move the actual wand so that you have, I don't know, like an angle. I'm gonna try it and see. Okay, I feel like I have no control over that. I need to flick it back. I literally felt like I was gonna drop it on my face. Oh, the mascara is actually really nice though. I actually love this mascara. It gives you like really thick and long lashes. All right, and then for lashes, we are going to try out the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. I've been wanting to try these for the longest time, so I am very excited to use them. So the style that I got are the Double Demi Wispies, um, and you also get a Magnetic Lash Applier. 
Ugh, they're stuck to my tweezers. Why am I not getting this? I'm gonna try the other eye and I think I'm just gonna leave it because they are quite literally doing my head in and I can't cope. I actually got it looking okay and then I pulled it off with the fucking tweezers by accident. Okay, I hate them. I hate them. I was so excited to try them, but they're just not not worth that time. So moving on to lips to finish out. I don't have a new lip liner, so I'm just going to use the MAC Boldly Bare Lip Pencil, which is one of my faves. Alright, and for lips, I have a new product from Astralis. It's called the Girl Boss Demi Matte Lip Cream. Are you guys ready for this packaging? How beautiful is this? I did not realize this was an Australis product when I first saw it. I thought it was like a new brand called Girlboss because the packaging is just so luxurious. This shade may be really pale on me, but we're going to try it. It's called Achieve. Mm. That's concealer lips. It smells really good. <laughs> the most horrible lip color on me in the world. I definitely need a darker lip liner and then a little, like, a smidgen of this. Like, I will still use it, just in a completely different way. I can't leave this on my lips. Okay, I'm going to use just the ColourPop Lippy Pencil, no, Lippy Stick in the shade Cookie. I'm going to try and put a little bit of this in just the center. Just like a... Alright, so that is everything for today's video. We had some good things and we had some unbelievably difficult things and we had some not so good things. So we had a mixture and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed watching me absolutely struggle to get these stupid eyelashes on and do these stupid wings that look like I'm about to try and fly away somewhere. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you have tried the magnetic lashes. What is the secret? How do I do them so that I can get them on quickly and properly? Like, I need to know the secret. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and like the video if you did like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, do you get two in here? Oh no, one part's for the bottom of your face and one part's for the top. Ollie, don't, don't cry. Oh, I need to close the window. Would you please be quiet? I'm going to check the mail. Dupe. Dupe. Is the emphasize... Wait, what's it called?